Okay, good. No, I'm back, guys. I wasn't really, I wasn't really serious about going out like that. Let's um try to do this the right way. Okay. First, we gotta make Timmy cry. Alright, let's go in here quick. So I need a few things. Hehehe. <laughs> hmm. Hello, sweetie, how are you? Uh, nice day, isn't it? Okay. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just looking around. Ooh, what's this? The brochure promotes the Wolfman Training Academy with the tagline turning Duke into the day into the leaders of tomorrow. Hmm. I know a certain little boy would love to see this. Oh, Timmy, where are you? Hey, where is he? That is a lemonade stand. Hello. What is it? See? Where the hell is Timmy? Did he go play or something? No? Who the frick is he? Maybe going to somebody's house or something. Good day. Be back there. Oh. Oh, I guess I'll just have to run his business one. Well. Yes, five cents for lemonade. Hello. How are you? Sure is a Okay, maybe we're inside his house. Good day. Oh, there you are. Hi. Want to play? Uh, hey, I heard your parents are getting a divorce because of you. Hmm. Hey, look what I found. What? No, I'm not. 
Look, I got the brochure right here. Go on, pal. But, but I don't want to go away. I don't want to leave my mommy. <laughs> okay. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I'm crying from here. Yay, you did it! Good job! <laughs> A clever approach. I'm not sure I would have considered it. Very encouraging. Your reward for winning the game is to ask a single question. I will answer honestly and frankly. Uh, where's my father? Your father? Oh my! What a splendid turn of events! I had no idea the two of you were related. Yes, I have indeed seen him. I'm afraid he's rather <laughs> unavailable at the moment. Oh, really? Were I you, I'd be more concerned with myself at the moment. And besides, we're done with questions for now. Perhaps we'll address it at a later time. First, I have something else for you to do. Pay what are you going to do? To the rock bells. They're very happily married, and I'd like you to change that. Put an end <sighs> to their marriage, and we'll talk. Fine. Personalize it any way you'd like. If you succeed, we'll continue our discussion. Okay. Rock whales, rock whales, where do they live? One, two, three, Everest. Uh, Okay, this, no, this is the um, other people. It's just another machine. Well, maybe Hello. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay, wrong. Ooh, what's this? When Roger's not in his stupid basement, he's outside sweet talking at Hussy Martha Simpson. He claims there's nothing between them, but I know it's all a lie. Oh, some violent thoughts there. Uh Oh, let's pay attention to the kitchen now. Oh, what's this? Rolling piano. Hmm. she go? I looked away from my screen for a split second. Did she go in her house? Hi. Bye.
Okay. Whoops. Hey, where did Miss Rockwell live? Ah, oh, here you go. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Mm, I'm doing fine. I had to break it to you, but I saw your husband kissing some other woman. Nah. Uh. Anything you want me to tell about your marriage? Our marriage? Mabel didn't put you up to this, did she? Betty wants me to. What? Oh! Ed, you too. Good day. Yeah. Good day to you. Anything you want to tell about your mirrors? Bad news, Roger. Your wife is a psychopath. You see my dad? What can you tell about the neighborhood? Uh, I think I'll go with this one. Bad news, Roger. Your wife is a psychopath. What? What are you talking you about? Oh, kidder, you. Roger says in his dead. And Janet killed her. Look, there's a rolling pin. But, Janet would never... I mean, I know she was upset, but I thought she was over it. How could she know. do this? My God. Janet, what have you done? What on earth are you talking about, Roger? How could you? How could you do that to her? Had you lost your mind? Roger, stop it. You're scaring me. You should be in a sanitarium or a prison. You're out of your damn mind. You just stay away from me, you hear me? Oh. Uh, better get out of here. Whoa, man, she can run fast. Must be those easy spirits she wears. <laughs> okay, let's uh, move on to the next one. Ugh, stupid metal swings. Hey, where's Betty? Hello? Oh, there she is. Poor Janet, Roger. Quite a clever interpretation of the rules. I'll have to reset the system to restore Martha, but it's well worth the effort. You have taken a far greater interest in these little games than your father did. He found the whole thing beneath him. Okay, what you want? It. I have some more explaining to do. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? What is this place? Tranquility Lane was designed to be a home away from home. A new way of sustaining life after the apocalypse. Vault 112 was the prototype. We never had time to build others. As the designer of the simulation, I was given special access. Everyone else here is only subconsciously aware of the artificial reality around them. Their conscious minds accept it as fact. Uh... Where have you left all this time? I have no desire to leave. Here, I wield more power than I could ever hope to in the outside world. And I use that power to amuse myself. Now, for instance, you will do as I ask yet again because I have power over you. Wow, some power. Fine, let's get this over with. 